Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. So earlier I, sh I, I, I introduced you, there were so many different types of uh, beats were there, but now only this guy will help you for everything. Are you understanding all of you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So now the confusion is which one to talk because both training is different. Okay. Both training is different. This ELK training is different. This new version of Elastic is different. Okay, so what I am trying, I am trying to give you the sense of from both. Okay, sense from both. That means how can you set up a ELK and how can you work with uh, latest version of Elastic Search also with this agent. So I will help you with the beats also. I will help you with agent tools. Okay, any confusion so far? Nope. Okay, so now let's get started. So now more or less the discussion is over. Now demo time. So before me starting the demo, if you have any questions, doubts, you can ask. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, step number one, Okay, step number two, step number three, step number four, step number five. We'll set up the whole infrastructure and I'll teach you. Okay, now guys, whole infrastructure can be set up in a many ways. Docker container is easiest way to set up infrastructure. But I'm not sure if all of you are comfortable working with the Docker. So I'll teach you manually so you can have a little confidence. So first one, step number one, set up Elasticsearch. Yes. After that, set up Blockstash. After that, set up Beats. Beats. After that, set up Kiwana. Now, after that, if you all are there, then last one also will try set up uh, AJ. Okay, so these all things will do, and after that, human will work this place most of the time. That means what you will do. So, human will work with the Kivana, and you will do what? You will do See here. Got it? Are you clear? 
yes only search or will we cover uh, dashboard as well ah this is a older method this is the older method but uh, when you say we when you work on the kivana then search is important see here what are the features of kivana see here discover search and query then after that we can clear alerts also dashboard also and some more features of kivana will okay and in this course we will cover all of these topics right yes 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 okay. so we will teach you after searching is the see creating alerts is just a five minutes of work uh, dashboarding maybe 15 minutes of work that's not a problem but this is most important and that's where your 90 percent of the time will be spent while learning because i just told you right there is a dsl and that is you need to learn actually and not only dsl uh, this is the one thing you have to learn and there is a one thing which you need to know kql kql any guess what is this kql stand for given a query language yes and dsl both language you have to learn so i'll give you the sense of both language and again you have to practice it again it's a whole query language what about machine learning machine learnings is not a part of this course but if you want to get it added talk to patrick okay he'll help you with that. uh yes and uh if we can if you can uh open um the topics that covered uh, in uh, in the exam in which exam can you just name it elastic, elastic. certified analyst certified analyst because uh, I'm enrolled in this course the, uh, in order to prepare very well for this exam. Yes. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, if you Let me play, just... Yes. In the topics, so searching data, visualizing ah. data, I need to ah. uh, cover all these topics. Yeah. This is my... So search... uh, yeah. yeah. Same thing which I said. Searching data means KQL and yes. DSL. Yes. Visualizing the data means this is the one which I was talking about. Discovering, searching and queries. And for that, you have a dashboard which is there anyways. And analyzing the data. See, here analyzing the data, you have to learn all this thing again. Okay. Yes, in analyzing and data, there is a machine learning part, runtime, create runtime fields. Define single metric, multi metric, population or categorization anomaly detection job. Just a uh, outliers in the analyzing data. Okay, just a second. Hold on. Uh, uh, see, here it's not a machine learning uh, which you are thinking. Uh, here, uh, basically, some agents are there. Okay, this agent which I'll teach you. Uh, which is they call it a machine learning tools okay now these agents can be used to detect anomalies uh, in a data sets that means uh, anomalies means something like that i'll put in uh, one example let's say you have a 50 uh, virtual machine ec2 instance and uh, in that ec2 instance one machine is behaving little different little different means let's say 50 machines out of one machine is consuming loads of CPU, loads of RAM, though you have a load balancer involved. So how to detect that, this one. So uh, this, uh, we will take it in, not in this session, but separate session one to one with you. Okay. Uh, perfect. Because uh, I, uh, took, uh, I took before uh, this exam two times and I didn't pass. No problem. We will, you will pass. So, and the exam cover all these topics. <laughs> Yeah. So, so it's your, very important your, for me. Uh, so your focus is, if your focus is uh, only this topic, then it's a very small topic that because I'm trying to cover more than this. Okay. And here so I just we will said, cover no? all of these topics and yes. more than this. Yeah. Don't list yeah. it here. See here. 
uh, basically your expectation is only to explore the kivana much actually this all topics is more or less satisfying to kivana and that's what i said it's a new version of elastic search elastic 8 which they are focusing on observability okay so that is where you see that all the data which is related to observability see your dashboard you have here you have a query and here you have analyzing the data okay so here more or less is observability but uh, this course the one which i am having right now is for more than this you can say it's not for analyst but it's for admin plus developer plus analyst analyst is the last role uh, i'll put it in this way so here first admin okay and then then analyst will come so uh, admin will set up the whole infrastructure manage the whole infrastructure and after that analyst will come and only access the data but i'm covering this admin first and then after that uh, this all these things okay okay and uh, what version of kibana are we going to use eight is there a big difference between version 8 and version 7.15 huge difference that's what i because just the exam about. uses uh, version 7.15 Mm. let me check that if they have uh, I check this uh, in FAQ in the second hold on. okay so we'll take it up this discussion offline I think uh, there's no time this this, okay. this can be taken yeah. so unnecessarily we are putting these questions right now because session is getting interrupted we can discuss of this offline also. Let's see if we okay. start this FAQs now, then our time will be lost. And other participants also might not have this alignment. Okay. So we'll do that. Okay. So guys, uh, let's do that. So uh, I'm going asking for the voting. Which one you want to learn? Seven, which is focus on uh, uh, the old ELK stake model or eight, which is focused on observability model, uh, which is the new one. So by the way, uh, I think your name, Sarah, uh, in terms of DSL queries and in terms of KQL queries, both are same. Uh, the only thing is additional thing which you got it with, uh, with uh, Elasticsearch 8, uh, agents you will not have in the sun. You will have a beats, different different types of beats. Okay. 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 So guys, uh, what you which one you are voting? Seven or eight? Both are production ready, by the way. Eight has recently re introduced. Seven is there from last I think two years or something. I would go with seven. I would go which with one? eight because because of observability part uh, this is something as an asari we should be focusing more towards so it could be more beneficial but what, okay. what company are you what company companies are still using seven ha huh. companies are still using seven uh, that's true and uh, eight is coming because of only sre and ops that means uh, elastic want to compete with uh, datadog New Relic, uh, App Dynamics, Dynatrix, the like tools like that. So they are they are migrating and transforming themselves. Okay, so we'll do one thing in this sessions. Let's stick with eight only. Now I'll keep talking. There is no difference. Also, the difference whenever you see there is no difference for me. It's there is no difference. But uh, because you guys want the step by step detail, so that where that's the where we'll have a little bit of challenges that will figure it out so in this session let's conclude this whole setup if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest
Thanks for watching.